Hello newcomers, my name is Camille. And my name is Batul and both of us are students at Inopolis University. Today we want to show you what to do when you first arrive to Russia. So right now we are at Kazan International Airport where probably many of you will arrive soon. So how will we get from here to Inopolis? Mm, that's a good question. I think the easiest way is to go by taxi. Maybe it's not the cheapest, but it's the faster. Or you can take a public transport. As Camille said, maybe it will take longer, but you will have a chance to see Kazan, the beautiful city. Mm. So how will we decide? I don't know. Uh, do you have any suggestions? Let's flip a coin. Do you have a coin? Okay, let me check. Yes, I found it. Oh, great. So how about if it's heads, I go by taxi. And if it's tails, you go by taxi, all right? Okay, let's do it. I won! Okay, okay, stop having fun. You won't fare a square, you go by taxi. Don't forget why we're here. We're here to show our students of how course. to go to Inopolis. So I will go by my public transportation and you have fun with your taxi. See you at Inopolis. Bye! First, you will need to connect Wi-Fi. At the airport, there is a free Wi-Fi. On my phone, I have an Uber, so I will use this app. The address is Inopolis Universitetskaya Street 1, building number 3. So building 3 is the reception, so you will need to go there first. Okay, so now to go to Inopolis first, we have to go to the Aero Express. It will take us to Kazan, and from there we will go by the bus, and we will reach Inopolis that way. Let's go to Kazan and see how beautiful the city is. Okay, so right now we are in Kazan, and to go to Inopolis we have to take the bus. We call it the shuttle. So, let's go to the bus stop. The bus stop is called Kombinat Zdorovaya. The buses arrive every hour. To check the timetable, you can use the Telegram channel. You can pay by card or by cash. You will need to get off the bus stop University yet. Now we're finally at Inopolis. Now we should go to the third door. Let's go. Arrived to Inopolis, done. Look who also arrived. Hi, Camille. Hello. How was your ride? It was amazing. Kazan is so beautiful. Good to hear that. So now what should we do? If you're planning to stay in the dorms, we should check in. Okay, so let's go to let's the dorms. Let's go. Now to go inside, we have to say the magical words. Yes, we will need to say in Russian, Ya zasilyayus. It means that I need to check in. Parol. Ya zasilyayus. After we got to the dorm, we should go to the accommodation office to get the keys to our room. So let's go check in. Now we will go to university. Do you know that we can get there without leaving the dorms? Hey, Camille. Hey. Let's go to university. Let's go. Okay, now we're going to do something really important, which is getting our student cards. With our student cards, we can go to gym or we can come back to dorms. Also, we can get a discount in the canteen. Now, what's next? Oh, so now we should go to the Students' Affairs Office. Okay, let's go. Okay, and now we're at 319 office. And this is going to be one of the most important places for you at Inopolis. Yes, indeed. If you need a reference, you collect it here. And to sign for the gym, you come here. And to join one of the students' club, you also come here. And this is really, really important for all the foreigners. When you come to Inopolis, the first thing you should do is to come to 319 office to make your registrations. It is really important. Check. Thank you. 
All international students must also go to the admission office to Veronica to give her documents of previous education. The office is 458. Uh, and finally we're done with all our documents. I am starving. Me too. Let's go to eat. You know there are several options. We can go to a cafe, to a restaurant, to the canteen, or cook by our own in the room. Mm, no, I don't feel like cooking today. I'll just go to canteen. Okay, you know the rules. First, let's flip a coin. Okay. If it's heads, I go to the canteen. Yes. Okay, so looks like I win. I don't mind cooking. You should be upset. You're taking the fun out of it. Come on. Okay, guys, now let's go and let me show you Nepal's canteen. The staff here don't always speak English, but you can always point at what you want to have. The canteen works from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., so you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. While Camille is happily eating his lunch, I will show you what we can buy at the supermarket. In Tatarstan, it's easier to find halal products than, for example, in Moscow. Phew. What a day. Look, there are some cool people there. Time to make friends. Let's go. Okay, I know this might sound like a cliche, but in Europolis, everyone here is like one big family. Yes, the town and the university are very small, so you will get to know everyone very quickly. Yes, and especially if you participate in events. Mm -hmm.